Uh, hello, everyone. Um, let me uh, let me welcome you to this uh, this SOAS webinar. Uh, my name is Alan Cummings. Uh, I'm the admissions tutor um, for our Japanese undergraduate degrees uh, this year. Um, and this afternoon, I'm going to give you a, a short talk uh, to introduce uh, our degrees and to give you a little bit of a sense, uh, a hope of what uh, studying Japanese at SOAS uh, would be like. Um, I'm sure that you know some of you may have some questions. Uh, so if you have questions, um, please just uh, type them in the chat, um, and I'll I'll answer those then uh, at the end. Um, so I'll make sure to leave plenty of time uh, to answer the the questions. Um, yeah, you know, thank you for uh, thank you for for thinking about studying uh, Japanese at uh, at SOAS. Um, Academics make pretty hopeless uh, salespeople, but uh, part of my, my job here today is to try to convince you uh, why you should choose SOAS over any of the other universities that teach Japanese uh, in the UK. Um, the first thing I'd say is that um, you know, the East Asia Department, we have a, a really amazing concentration of, uh, of knowledge and expertise uh, on the languages and cultures uh, of Japan uh, and Korea and China uh, and Tibet. Um, and so, as in general, in other departments around us, there's lots of people who, who focus on the on the research uh, of Japan. Um, so, people in linguistics, and people in politics, and people in art, and music, and economics, and history, and all of these different departments. There, there's lots of people working on uh, on Japan. Um, so, what this means is that that at SAS, you've you've got loads of people who are who are working on the uh, on the research. Uh, into Japan, uh, there's a great community of, of scholarship uh, into Japan, and that also means then that lots of the latest research that people are doing will be will be fed into the kind of courses, the modules that you can uh, that you can take here. Um, so by choosing SOAS, and you're you're really choosing to come to teach to be to to be taught by people uh, who are working at the forefront of their of their different disciplines and who are expanding our knowledge of. Uh, of of Japan uh, specifically and, and East Asia uh, more generally. Um, another thing I'd, I'd point out is the uh, is the amazing resource that is the uh, is the SOAS library. Uh, maybe that's that's not the first thing that you you think of when you're thinking about where to go to to do your degree. Um, but you know, if you choose to study Japanese here, as you as you kind of uh, become more proficient. Uh, in reading Japanese, you'll suddenly discover that you have access to, to thousands uh, of Japanese books and academic journals and, uh, and newspapers. So it's, it's definitely a resource that you come to uh, appreciate more and more uh, as you move through uh, your degree. Um, so the, the SAS library is, is one of the best in the country, um, probably even uh, in Europe. We've got a vast range of work in English uh, and uh, and Japanese and Korean on um, all sorts of topics that you might be interested in, uh, in addressing. Um, the final thing uh, I would say is, of course, that you're um, that so us you're going to be right uh, in the in the centre of London. Uh, you know, we're just behind uh, the British Museum, so you're walking distance from all sorts of great attractions. You know, if you're interested in any aspect uh, of Japanese culture, if you're into the food. If you're into music, if you're into films, um, there's just so much stuff that's always going on uh, in London. So by, by choosing to come to SOAS, then you also have access to all of that uh, great stuff uh, that's, uh, that's available uh, in, uh, in, this, in this city. Um, you know, I could, I could keep on going for uh, a very long time about what a wonderful place uh, SOAS is. Uh, I should probably say at this point, uh, that I'm actually a, a SOAS graduate uh, as well. I studied Japanese here a very long time ago, um, last century, uh, I, I can say. Um, so, you know, I, I myself have, have a very personal uh, experience of what it means uh, to study here uh, and just how special um, this, uh, this university is. Um, but I know that we only have, have limited time here today, so I should, I should probably move on uh, to talk a little bit about the the degree programs that we we offer, um, you know, I know from looking, some of you will have looked at our our website uh, already, um, but basically we offer two different types of uh, of degree uh, at undergraduate level, um, and these can be divided up uh, into 
uh, into three-year degrees uh, and, to, um, and four-year degrees. Um, so for our, our four-year degrees um, in Japanese, the main four-year degree we offer is, is BA Japanese. Um, and this includes uh, a compulsory year abroad spent studying uh, at a university uh, in Japan. Um, and if you choose to do BA Japanese, uh, you can choose to do it either as a what we call a single subject degree, uh, where Japanese is, is all that you're studying, uh, or you can choose to do it as what SOAS calls a joint degree. Um, so you can combine it with some of the other subjects that, uh, that SOAS offers. So you could do a joint degree, for example, in BA Japanese and economics, uh, or BA Japanese and history, or even BA Japanese and, and Korean studies. Um, there's a big extensive list of, of all of the of, all of the different combinations uh, that's available uh, on our website. If you look uh, down the uh, down the left hand side, if you're on the, the uh, East Asia Department website and you go to degrees, uh, you'll see the, the BA Japanese and uh, section uh, and in there you can see all of the different uh, subjects that you can combine it with. Um, so Chinese studies and development studies, uh, economics, uh, English, uh, history, uh, history of art, international relations, Korean studies, linguistics, music, politics, uh, social anthropology, uh, study of religions, uh, world philosophies. Um, those are, those are the, the available uh, options at the moment. Um, so as I say, that, that BA Japanese degree, whether you take it as a, as a single subject degree or whether you take it as a joint degree, uh, it takes four years uh, to complete. Um, the other main undergraduate degree that we offer uh, is BA Japanese Studies, um, and that's uh, a three-year degree uh, in most cases. Uh, the, only, the only cases where it's not uh, a three-year degree is if you take it as a joint degree with either Chinese uh, or Korean, uh, in which case uh, it'll take four years because you have a, a year abroad in either China uh, or Korea uh, on those on those combinations. Um, so that's you know that's the main difference between those those two under two different undergraduate degrees that we offer. Um, so it's the question of whether you want a four-year degree or whether you want uh, a three-year degree. Um, there are other differences um, between them as well. Um, the major difference, uh, I'd say, is that the four-year degree, um, because it has that, that year abroad, um, you know, one of the things we aim to do on that degree is to provide you with the highest level of, uh, of competence in the language. Um, so there's a, a greater focus uh, on studying language uh, on that degree and also the, the level you will reach at the end of those four years will be higher than the level you will reach uh, if you're doing uh, the three-year BA Japanese study uh, degree. Um, so that's that's the main difference. So BA Japanese, the focus is, is more on language. Um, first, second, and, and third year, probably about half of what you do will be will be language. Uh, the other modules will be uh, will be what we call discipline modules. So modules where you're learning about Japanese history or Japanese society or literature. Uh, and so on. Uh, on BA Japanese studies, um, there's a lesser focus on language uh, on that degree. So um, about a quarter uh, of the courses you take will be language courses, uh, and the other courses you take then will be will be discipline uh, courses. I should I should also I should I should say a little bit uh, about the structure of the of the modules that you that you take. Um, each year that you're you're at SOAS. Uh, you're required to take 120 credits uh, each year, uh, and the way that, that that works, there will be some some modules which will be uh, chosen for you, so compulsory modules. Um, so, for example, if you're doing single subject BA Japanese, in your first year, the the modules you have to take um, will be um, J1 Japanese, uh, and we have two different entry points uh, for that particular module. Um, there's an elementary module if you're a beginner uh, or a near beginner, uh, and there's an accelerated uh, module if you have a little bit more experience of studying uh, Japanese. Um, this is the, the core language <coughs> module that you take. Um, so you're, you know, you're, you're learning about how to write Japanese, how to read Japanese, how to speak uh, and listen, and how to translate uh, as well. Um, and that is worth uh, 60 credits. 
Um, on top of that, um, from next year, and this is this is a you know, we're reforming our, our curriculum, so this is a little bit different to what is on the website at the moment. Um, but alongside that, you will also take a, a module called the Introduction to the History uh, of East Asia, um, which which sort of does what it says in the tin. So it's uh, it's teaching you not just about Japan, but also about uh, the history of uh, of China uh, and Korea, so you can understand. Uh, the historical and the contemporary relationships uh, between those those three countries uh, in East Asia uh, and the various factors that have that have sculpted that that history. We also have uh, two other compulsory modules um, in in the first year. Um, one of them is called Cool Japan, um, which is um, you know looking at different aspects of how japan is is perceived in the world that kind of coolness that you associate with uh, with manga uh, and anime and also with, you know, with japanese food culture uh, and those 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 cut those kinds of elements um and then finally we'll have a we'll have a new study skills uh, module which will be uh, aiming you aiming to kind of teach you about you know how do you do research how do you use the library how do you write essays how do you prevent or how do you present an effective uh, argument? Uh, so the kind of skills that you'll be able to use uh, in all of the modules that you that you take during your during your time uh, at SOAS. Um, to give you kind of an idea of what of what the time you spend each week on those modules is like, that J1 Japanese course, um, as I say, it aims to teach you basic speaking, listening, reading, writing, and translation. Um, and on that module, you spend around 10 hours per week uh, studying uh, in class. Um, the other modules are generally um, three hours per week, uh, either two or three hours per week. Um, two hours may be a lecture, and then you may have like an hour uh, tutorial, or it may be one hour lecture uh, and one hour tutorial. Uh, you can see more details of this, uh, of, of these times, and the kind of you know, the assessments and so on. All of that detail is uh, is on the website. Um, I need to give you a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a warning here. Um, when I say that on you know, that language class uh, you spend ten hours uh, in class, uh, what our language teachers say is that for every one hour that you spend in class, you need to spend uh, at least two or three times uh, that studying the language by yourself. Uh, so doing your homework. Um, learning kanji, which is something that can take a very long time uh, at the beginning. Um, learning vocab, um, doing little tests and, and memory exercises, and so on. Um, so it's it's a it's a very considerable uh, investment uh, of time uh, and effort. Um, you know, if you started studying Japanese by yourself, you, you you may already have a sense that Japanese is is not an easy language uh, to learn. Uh, and to begin with, you do really have to to put in in the time. Um, so that you know, if you are taking BA Japanese, you have to be aware that that that, that first year course it, it is going to be a, a considerable amount of time that you will be working just on language, um, maybe 30, 40 hours a week where you're just working on uh, on, on polishing your your language skills and trying to bring them up to a to a usable uh, level. Um, you know, this on BA Japanese that, that language course is is very very rigorous. Um, for the four years that we, we have you in that degree, we aim to kind of bring your reading and your writing and your speaking and your listening uh, up to kind of Japanese high school or even beginning kind of university uh, level. Um, so it is a it is a considerable uh, investment of time that you, and commitment that you need to be uh, aware of. Um, on BA Japanese studies, as I say, the, the amount of time you spend in, in language classes is, is a bit less, usually uh, three or four hours uh, per week. So the, you know, the, the pace that you're going to be advancing at on BA Japanese studies is also going to be a little bit slower uh, than, it, uh, than it would be on, on BA Japanese. Uh, the way the, the program works um, for the rest of your degree um, you know, as you as you kind of progress upwards through the second year and the third year, um, the third year of course is the is the year abroad on BA Japanese. But as you, you as you progress upwards on uh, on BA Japanese, um, the modules you take, for example, in in your final year, you will have more what we call language use modules, where you're using the skills that you have already gained 
um, and you're starting to read, for example, uh, literary texts uh, in their original versions, or maybe you're reading uh, Japanese you know, classical texts uh, from, from the past, you maybe from the Heian period or, or before, uh, or maybe you're reading um, Japanese academic texts about, uh, about history, or maybe you're reading newspapers. So we have lots of these kind of language use uh, modules that where, you, where you get a chance to use uh, the language skills that, that, you have, that you have built up. Um, there's a couple of other things I, I, I want to say before I move to the, the Q&A section. Um, and the first is, is about uh, the year abroad uh, on, on BA Japanese. Um, you know, people are, are always a, a little bit, a little bit uh, worried maybe about, about the year abroad. Um, the way it works is we have exchange agreements uh, at the moment with, with 21 uh, Japanese universities uh, across the whole, the whole country. We have several partner universities in, in the big cities, so in Tokyo and Osaka uh, and Kyoto and, and Nagoya, uh, but also partners in, in Hokkaido and, and Kyushu uh, and other places uh, as well. Um, the, way, the way that the, you know, the, the year abroad works um, is that you know, most of those partner universities, they offer us maybe two or three places. Um, so in your in your second year, you take a, a placement test, and based upon the results of that placement test, uh, then you know you you make a, a first, second, third, and fourth preference, and depending on how you do in that placement test, um, then we you know, we we rank you, um, and and that's how we that's how we decide the, how the placement uh, works. Um, those those universities, the programs they offer in Japan, um, they will generally be a combination of language, so you're still working on your Japanese language, of course, um, but language and some other kinds of, uh, of subjects as well. Uh, but it really depends upon the university, specific university, what those, what those modules are going to be. So there may be modules about Japanese history or Japanese society uh, or you know, Japanese culture, some, some aspect of that that you will be, that you will be, you'll be studying. Um, on BA Japanese, that year abroad is compulsory. Everybody, everybody has to has to has to do it. So that is definitely worth uh, thinking about uh, when you when you when you're choosing which degree uh, you wish uh, to follow. Um, we do have some some scholarships. There's a limited number of scholarships available to students to help with the cost of the year abroad. Um, for example, uh, there's a body, a body called JASO, uh, which is funded by the Japanese government, um, and they maybe provide uh, 10 scholarships uh, or something like that each year. Um, and this is money that then you know, can help you with the, with the airfare and help you with your, with your living costs um, when, you're, when, you're, when you're in Japan. Um, as I say, those, th this is an exchange program that SOAS has with our partner universities in Japan. Um, and financially, the way that it works is for that year abroad, uh, you just pay a fee to SOAS, a very reduced fee. Um, the current uh, value of that is is on the website, but it's usually around thirteen hundred or fourteen hundred pounds, something like that. Um, and that that then is the only fee that you pay for the year abroad, and that then covers all of your tuition uh, in Japan. Obviously, on top of your of of that, then you have to pay to get to Japan. Uh, you'd have to pay for uh, accommodation, um, university dormitories, and and so on. Um, and you've always got to pay then for your for your food and, and whatever else you you, you do in Japan. Um, I should I should also say uh, a couple of things maybe about um, employability. Um, you know, if you take a degree uh, in Japanese or Japanese studies with this, um, we're providing you with with lots of transferable skills. Uh, there are lots of Japanese companies that are are looking to employ. Uh, foreign students who can understand uh, Japanese or foreign graduates who, who can understand Japanese. Um, you'll also have opportunities with Western companies that want to expand uh, into Japan. Um, and recent graduates uh, from our degrees have ended up working uh, in lots of, uh, lots of different areas. Uh, so there are people who have gone into to Japanese media. Um, one graduate from a couple of years ago has started a fashion magazine uh, in Japan recently, which is being supported by Keio University. Uh, some people have gone into um, game design and localization. Uh, there's people working for Sega, uh, for example. Uh, other people 
I've gone in, into different kinds of, of translation uh, areas, working for the Japanese government or working for the, the automobile uh, industry. Um, people have gone into, into telecoms or into marketing and research. Uh, so there's, there's, a whole, there's a whole rich array of, uh, of possible careers uh, that you can, you can possibly go into where Japan or Japanese is going to be uh, very useful um, to you. Um, okay. Um, Let's see. So I think I should I should maybe look at, at some of your uh, some of your questions uh, here. Um, so the, the the first question that I can I can and see uh, is a question from uh, Guido, uh, who's, who says, uh, will there be uh, information on the the masters? Uh, Japanese for those who wish to apply for the, the dual source and Sophia masters um, unfortunately not um, this is this talk today is, is for the BA degrees um, but if you go onto the website there there is some information uh, about the about that, that master's program that we offer together with with Sophia um, and the best the best thing to do would, would be to, to write to the uh, to the convener uh, for that program so if you write to uh, to Dr. Kirsch, uh, she, she should be able to help you with any questions.